Martin Luther King Jr. and those who worked with him, they didn't simply save black people. And their multiracial coalition that was rooted in the experience of those who came out of slavery, they saved America. God knows they saved the South from itself. We would not have this economic prosperity were it not for the fact that they saved the South from itself. It was choking on its own racism, choking on its own backwardness. But thank God there were some folk who loved people enough and loved God enough to look beyond color and see conscience and they saved Saved America. Get ready. We're going to have to save America again. Can, can I close? Let me make it plain for you. In 2007, there was this white brother who was in a New York subway station. While in the subway station, this white brother had an epileptic seizure. And helplessly, he fell in the middle of the tracks. All life matters. And as he fell in the middle of the tracks, there was an oncoming train quickly approaching in a matter of seconds. And there was this black brother who looked down at the white brother. And all he saw was another brother. Wesley Autry was his name, and that, that brother was standing there with his two own young daughters. And he said to a strange woman whom he did not even know, look out for my daughters. I've got to do something about this brother. You know what happened? He jumped on the track, pushed the man who was shaking and convulsing, having a seizure pushed him in a little trough between the tracks, in between death on both sides and death about to roll over them. He pushed him between the tracks and then laid his own body on top of him. And then the train in a matter of seconds rolled over both of them. The daughters were screaming, the lady who was standing beside the daughters was screaming, but both he and the man were unharmed. The train ran over them, but it did not destroy them. That's somebody's testimony this morning. The train ran over them, but it did not destroy them. I wish somebody would testify this morning. Tribulation ran over them, but it did not destroy them. Later on, somebody, somebody interviewed the brother, and he said, man, you did an amazing thing. You risked your own life, and you covered that brother. You jumped from the platform. You were in a safe and high position, and you jumped down and covered that brother. He said, yeah, but something more amazing than that happened. They said, what? He said, while I was covering him, I could feel somebody else covering me. That there is a God he will cover you. He'll cover your sins. He'll cover your mistakes. You ought to get ready. You don't know who you'll have to rescue. You don't know what you'll have to do to rescue a nation from suffocating on his own sins of racism and classism. But get ready. You've got to save America again. But even as you cover this situation, there is a God who will cover you.